Hi, I'm Joan Naturell. I will explain how to use the SIRS database. Notice we are now on the library homepage, library.rit.edu. You'll see in the middle of the page, there is a search bar. And on that search bar, there's different tabs. I will click on databases. And I'm going to type in SIRS. And click on the orange search icon. the title pops up. So click on the title. This database is similar to the Opposing Viewpoints database. You can browse for different topic ideas. I'm going to show you. Suppose I want to study the coronavirus topic. I see that, so I will click on it and look and see what's available. It gives you a summary of the issue and you can scroll down. It gives you viewpoints about the spread of the coronavirus. Some people think that we should be more careful and limit the spread. Other people think you can't avoid the epidemic, so you can develop your opinion after you read the articles. This is an example of a newspaper article. And you can email it and download it. Just like you can do for the other databases. You can also translate it to your home language if you want. Now I translated it to the Spanish language. It's not perfect, but it's a general translation. You can also listen to it by clicking on the listening icon. It's reading and voicing for you. You can also cite it. So I'll click on the cite link. You have a choice of which citation style you're using such as MLA or APA.
I want to find more articles about the coronavirus. So click on Find More. Notice in the left column, it tells you what types of articles you can read. Newspapers, magazines, pictures, websites. These have already been evaluated and are reliable. Government articles and peer-reviewed articles. You have thousands of articles related to the topic that you can use. I want to explain how important it is for you to find articles that are easy for you to understand. This is important because if you select articles that are difficult to understand, you tend to plagiarize and you do not want that. Either find an article that you can understand or bring the article to the NLC and you can get more tutoring help. That sums up my explanation of how to use the SIRS Researcher Database.